uh, let's take a moment to look at some of these different um, reels. Uh, I have, uh, for some reason, I have a number of uh, Shakespeare reels. Some of these I have used, some of them I have not. Uh, I also have uh, some others like uh, South Bend, um, some crazy ones I don't even know who they're Chinese made or something like that. Uh, there's a Johnson, Zebco, and you saw some other Zebcos down here. Ryobi, Mitchell, and Fluger. Um, you know, there's South Bend here. Uh, now, as I said earlier, once uh, manufacturing uh, in the 1970s and 80s as such, they began, or late 60s for that matter, once they realized they could get things done cheaper overseas, they began to ship everything out of the United States. And uh, outside of uh, this Fluger, uh, the only U.S. made one that I could find that I have. Um, I mean, Ryobi, of course, has always been made in Japan. Uh, but uh, the rest of these, every one of them that I can see, I can't find one that says it was made in USA. Zebco, Shakespeare, South Bend, um, Johnson's, they're all made, as far as I can tell, made in China. And some of them even go as far as a stamp made in China right on the, into the, uh, the uh, metal or the plastic uh, real foot. So uh, this one here, I, I don't know what it is. It's called a, a meteor. Uh, but... Uh, it, it as well has made made in China stamp free right in the middle of the of the thing. So uh, unless you're going to spend a lot of money on your reel, and you might decide to do so, it might be worth it. Uh, you're going to find that uh, they are mostly made overseas. Now, of the overseas ones that are made, Mitchell uh, was made in uh, is made stamped right here or, or embossed right here on the on this reel it was made in France and so if you have a, the old Mitchells a 300 uh, series uh, which are typically uh, recognized by this uh, different type of um, uh, uh, reel handle a very unique kind of reel handle you can see it there you can see it here in this one uh, this is only a partial partial one this is a Mitchell 324 it doesn't have the I have to find some parts for it to uh, make this worthy again and uh, then this one it does not say on it but I believe it's probably with what's there it probably is a Mitchell I cannot find any place that is uh, stamped or embossed or anything that tells me anything different um, but this decal that had the name on it probably was uh, was a Mitchell and uh, partly because of the again the handle design although somebody has taken and made uh, put some uh, old uh, friction tape on there but um, it looks very much the same as what uh, this 300 series does uh, slightly newer possibly uh, but at any rate uh, and it works quite well it's um, a very well working one but these were made uh, not made in the United States I guess you would say um, and um, so you're going to find most of these are made overseas uh, in China most, mostly uh, but by the same token, we have been able to uh, get a lot of people into fishing, and uh, you have probably uh, enjoyed fishing yourself uh, with many of these uh, made uh, in the, in the uh, country of China. Now, some of the, before I get into the really nice ones uh, that we have, the antique ones that are sought after and looked at, but take the the basic Zebco reel here and uh, this is all plastic there's no no getting around that uh, it has a 
pretty smooth retrieve. Uh, this one has a very uh, limited, uh, it tells you the capacity rate on there. Uh, line capacity for this is, a, is um, going to be Boy, I can't even read that here, but uh, it usually tells you line capacity, but it's very limited line capacity in this as compared to maybe the Shakespeare. This has got a little more capacity and uh, some of these others like the South Bend, a larger capacity. Um, but uh, this is a good one for, you know, your basic pan fishing, bass fishing, whatever, um, on the proper, proper pole. But some of the things, despite the fact you want to see if your your drag is going to be easily gotten to there some of them have um drags in a different place i can't find i don't have one here i've never cared for them that were a button or whatever uh, on the, the lower part of the the uh reel but um most of them have the drag right up here you have your anti-reverse on this particular one which is it works this one particular in particular works go back and forth there's an anti you can't go backwards with it only forward then you can go backwards or forward with it this way uh, basic things that you need to have um, like any other reel the main thing to look at is how this bale operates how it is constructed um, does it release well from any position? Okay, you don't want to be messing with your bale when, you, when you're trying to set the hook uh, on a fish. So, in this one, I don't know if you can see it very well, but this one has a, a nicely machined or formed collar there, nice and smooth, little indentation so that the, the line goes right inside it. Let me see if I can put that through there. There we go. The line comes through that, and uh, that's what takes up your your uh, line. And uh, it's smooth. It, it's not going to uh, wear too much on it because it's going to move around in there and, and go back and forth. And uh, that will uh, preserve the length of your of your line. So there is a Zebco, and it, it you know basic, cheap inexpensive reel and if you ever find these uh, like yard sales or places you know you're not going to spend an awful lot to pick up those a uh, couple dollars or so um, some of the others that are a little more machined out or a little better uh, uh, particular uh, well One might be uh, something like the Shakespeare, a little better than the Zebco in that respect. And, uh, not as much plastic on it, but uh, certainly works quite well and uh, has all the basic stuff there. Anti-reverse is either on or off down here by this switch. Now, the only problem with that is sometimes you can bump that when you're, when it's, you're in close proximity to it. Um, this is... Um, got some advantages but not much they're all going to be about the same just depends on upon the uh, the uh, material that they're made of as you can see this is a small this is more for an ultralight rod it's a small capacity good for trout trout or the one good thing about this nice large handle and grip that you can get a hold of uh, this is a solid uh, handle and so that makes it nice it's not just a little tiny thing trying to to grab a hold of. Now, here's where you get into the difference. This particular one, it works pretty well. Uh, got the anti-reverse uh, switch on it. Uh, this one cannot be re uh, switched back and forth. This one, you can take this off here. You can switch it from, uh, you can switch your handle over, put it on this side, and you'll have 
uh, go from right hand to left hand, whatever, and uh, you can uh, you got a little more versatility depending on what you're looking for in that respect. Uh, some of them have it, some of them don't. Usually a little better uh, reel that well. This is a uh, South Bend, and uh, this one you can uh, do the same. Take this off comes off there we go and uh, you can usually pull that out switch it around to that side put this in this the other side anchor it back down um, some people just learn to use it the way they get them it's uh, there's a little added feature to that particular reel um, this would be a fairly decent reel Except for the fact it had uh, a problem with the bale, apparently. It kept popping out or coming off. And uh, so at some point I may find another bale for that. Uh, South Bend uh, 730A. And uh, they're, they're, that was a pretty good, kind of nice smooth uh, reel. And uh, it does have the anti-reverse. And if you go force it backwards on the anti-reverse, you're going to take your your uh, handle right off. It's going to unscrew, so you're, you're going to know it. Uh, so it has the anti-reverse there, and uh, it, I'll have to look around and see if I can find a bale to uh, re renew that. Um, here's a Shakespeare. Again, this one uh, has a real good um, if you're going to have this type you want to make sure that the skirt of the pool the spool comes down enough that you're not going to get line up underneath there and in the mechanism that's one good thing if it just sits on top there and comes down a short distance you may end up with a bit of a snarl underneath your your um, uh, reel so uh, something to keep in mind as well this one has an automatic trigger pull that lever it opens up for you um, some people like that some people don't they'd rather get, get a hold of the line themselves but it's kind of a con convenient uh, uh, thing uh, I guess you could learn to uh, cast at the right time slip that open and let it go uh, that becomes your your finger on the line so to speak but um, another little feature in that particular one um, but again these with the bent wire bale uh, stay away from those those are not going to do you well and usually they end up uh, the inside mechanisms are very uh, cheap as well as I said this one here I don't even know much about it it's called a meteor and definitely, I mean, with the Chinese characters that are on here, definitely a Chinese made, um, barely rotates. No matter what, I mean, that is stuck. Somebody must have uh, greased that in there with uh, some pretty hefty grease. But those are what we have here. We have the Shakespeare line. We have the South Bend line, the Johnson line. Uh, Zebco line, the Ryobi, these are very nicely done. They're, this gear ratio is a 4.3 to 1 uh, gear ratio. It tells you the line capacity. Uh, if you take a uh, 8-pound uh, uh, pound line, you got 210 yards, or meters, excuse me, on there. If you got a, you got a 10-pound you got about 190 meters. Um, and it even has it in millimeters for you, uh, line capacity. Uh, it has the uh, number of, uh, of good features on here. Um, the anti reverse switch is down here at the bottom, but it's well away from your hand, so you can. You can uh, that it works uh, a good little a good reel uh, made in Japan uh, no getting around that uh, 
your drag on top is big enough that you can handle that and, and you can deal with it when you're uh, dealing with uh, uh, fighting a fish, so to speak. So they are all there. Now just briefly let me touch on some of these more collectible ones. This is, as I said, Fluger, made in Akron, Ohio. This one's in pretty good shape um, for the age of it. And uh, it's called a Fluger Free Speed uh, 1000. And uh, it's still, no matter what, it's still uh, working well. Uh, very smooth operation. You notice on this bale, there's a, the wire comes around as a, a straight sided wire, but then right here it begins to taper and a uh, very smooth pickup of the line as it goes up that taper and sets into that collar there to uh, uh, retrieve the line. It's a very unique but, but a very uh, excellent type of, uh, of uh, retrieval. Okay, let's look at this uh, Mitchell. This is made in France and uh, Mitchell can be uh, uh, one of the telling features of the Mitchell was that that unique style of handle that they they used. They had a, a very unique style and uh, if you cranked on it too hard, I'm, so, I'm assuming you probably could bend it. This handle looks a little bent, but um, nothing that uh, makes it work any less, but it has anti-reverse on there. It uh, depends on which way you, you put that reverse. This one isn't catching too good, probably needs cleaning and such, but um, it has that particular feature. Otherwise, it's, it's like anything else. It's a very simple uh, design. Uh, inside, uh, the gears are, are well made. This one here, I need a couple of things on this. I need a new spool and a new uh, drag uh, button for it. Uh, otherwise, it's uh, this one does not have uh, the anti-reverse right now because the little stud right here is all that's sticking out. There, there should be some kind of a of a uh, switch here to uh, um, put it into anti-reverse. Right now, it's in anti-reverse. Uh, permanently I guess you would say at that point and uh, this other one I still have to look this over and and see if I can determine if this is a knockoff of the Mitchell that looks like it could be but then again it looks like it could be a, um, a Mitchell as well so here uh, you can take and uh, reposition this for whatever reason take it off I never noticed that before, but this definitely has anti-reverse in it. It goes either way. It doesn't seem to be working right now because it's... Uh, no, it is working there. But it has the anti-reverse um, switch feature to it. And, it's, and it needs cleaning. All of these older ones that I have here need to be cleaned quite well and um, they are uh, with we'll take these we'll clean these up maybe this 301 get it cleaned up good and that Fluger maybe do a comparison fishing uh, uh, comparison of the two uh, out on the boat this summer see how they how they uh, react I trust you enjoyed this uh, session in uh, looking at some of these open faced um, reels and uh, setups, the combos that we had and such. And uh, trust that you will, um, if you like this, uh, this kind of thing, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you would to, to, to see more of them and uh, share it with other people at, uh, on, your, on your social media. Let others uh, see this. More uh, might get into the uh, aspect of the older uh, materials that we had available.